Hi, my name is Frank Minista. I'm the Community Engagement Officer for Joram, a free online service providing access to learning and teaching resources contributed by staff in UK universities and colleges. It's a place to find, share, and discuss learning and teaching resources. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Joram widget, bringing resources directly to you. What is a widget? In computing terms, a web widget is a software widget for the web. It's a small application that can be installed and executed within a web page by an end user. They are derived from the idea of code reuse. Other terms used to describe web widgets include portlet, gadget, badge, module, webjet, capsule, snippet, mini, and flake. A widget is a standalone application that can be embedded into third-party sites by any user on a page where they have the rights of authorship, such as a web page, blog, or profile on a social media site. Widgets allow users to turn personal content into dynamic web apps that can be shared on websites where the code can be installed. For example, a weather report widget could report today's weather by accessing data from the Weather Channel. It could even be sponsored by the Weather Channel. Should you want to put that widget on your own Facebook profile, you could do this by copying and pasting the embedded code into your profile on Facebook. If you go to the Widget Builder, you can start to design your own widget at www.joram.ac.uk forward slash widget. The Widget Builder will allow you to choose from three types of widget, search, user, and subject. When you go to the Builder page, it will look like this. You can see the design categories and description for the choices of widget. For example, I've chosen to design a search widget for chemistry. To do so, simply enter chemistry in the search query bar, and then give the widget a title, such as resources returned for chemistry. Next, click on the text settings badge at the bottom to see what your widget will look like. If you're happy with your search widget, click on the finish and grab code also at the bottom of the page. In the box on the left, you will see the code for your embeddable widget. Simply highlight the code in that box and then copy and paste it into your website or VLE. You now have a widget for your particular area of interest or sources which you think might be of use for your students or users, directly on your website or VLE. You can also create similar widgets which feature your most recently deposited resources with a user widget, as well as a subject widget, which allows you to access a subject of your own choosing and then give access to resources from any of the Joram subjects on your web page. The benefits of the Joram widgets include enabling your users to find resources, directly from your website or VLE. They're automatically updated when new resources are added. They're embeddable with minimum technical effort. They can be tailored to your own requirements. They help you to promote your own resources. They're fully supported by the Joram team, and new features are updated automatically. Before you begin, some questions to ask yourself are, how might you use the Joram widgets? And where would you put the Joram widgets? On a website, on a blog, in a VLE, somewhere else? And we'd like to know. For specifics, which widgets have you used? And where have you embedded the widgets? Please give us the feedback on our form at www.joram.ac.uk forward slash widget. If you share your stories with Joram, you could win a 50 pound Amazon voucher. We'd also like you to keep in touch at support at joram.ac.uk you can join us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Joram Team. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Joram Team. And you can join the Joram Update discussion list at www.jiskmail.ac.uk forward slash Joram dash update. You can also sign up for the Joram e-review. And thank you very much.